station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. The busy traffic season kicked off this week with the departure of Orbital ATK's Cygnus cargo ship. The unmanned craft, which arrived with more than 7,000 pounds of supplies back in December 2015, was packed with trash and other disposable items before it was ready to leave. Scott Kelly gave the command to release Cygnus early Friday morning using the station's robotic arm, and then it was on its way. Cygnus will ultimately burn up during a destructive re-entry on Saturday. Even when you're in space, it can be nice to get flowers on Valentine's Day. Scott Kelly harvested the zinnia flowers, which had been growing as part of the station's veggie experiment. The flowers, which hit some mold troubles early on in their lives, ended up flourishing when the experiment went off script and Kelly became an autonomous gardener. The plants grew for nearly three months and were an important stepping stone to growing fruiting crops in the future, like tomatoes, peppers, strawberries, beans, and peanuts. This week's African American History Month highlight was a big step in station science. And joining me to tell you more is Dr. Camille Elaine, Associate ISS Program Scientist. Take it away, Camille. Thanks, Dan. This week, we want to highlight an experiment that flew to the station in 2014 and teamed NASA researchers with professors and students. The University Research One team was a collaboration of minority university research program schools, including Savannah State University, Texas Southern University, Jarvis Christian College, Tougaloo College, and Perry View A&M University. The project tested drugs that could be used to enhance astronauts' immune systems, counteracting the adverse effects of microgravity and radiation in space. Additionally, the drugs have shown the potential to suppress cancer cells and increase immunity here on Earth, which could improve cancer treatments in the future. Thanks, Camille. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.